ED Rider, sponsored by ABC Taxis, achieving best customer service. Multi-award winning hit programme Downton Abbey was such a success, it's little surprise that there's rumours of a film being cast in the near future. Now the post-Edwardian programme followed the lives of the aristocratic Crawley family and its multitude of servants, one of which I'm off to meet today. Good job I buffed the old shoes up. Hi Thomas. Hello. Are you Darren? I'm Darren. Nice Hello, to meet I'm you. Tom. Jump in. Thank you. I will. We're off right. to somewhere. Probably not quite as glamorous as Downton Abbey, <laughs> but it is the <laughs> next best thing Norwich has to offer. Oh, excellent. I'm looking forward to it. Oops. Oof. <laughs> Quite the professional top, Thomas. Thomas Very what do you think? nice. Very you good. Go. Now, oh, traditional, lovely. is that right? Lemon rather than milk? I think that's true, that milk is off. Right. There we go. And lemon is in. I think that's the proper way, if I remember rightly. And I've brought you to the correct surroundings. Um, it is. It's very beautiful. Apt. Yeah, very downtown. Yes. Although you wouldn't have seen much of this, would you? You'd have been downstairs, traditionally. There was me and Big Jim Carter. Was uh, Big Jim Carter was uh, Carson and uh, Rob James Collier was Thomas. And we did both because we served yeah. like this in the, the dining room. But then obviously they had all the shenanigans downstairs as well, so yeah. uh, I got to see the best of both worlds. Yeah, and of course we're talking about Downton Abbey, which is, a, which is such a massive success, a huge success. I mean, were you surprised or the cast surprised just how successful it was? I don't think anybody knew it would be quite uh, that big as it was. I mean, like 160 countries, I think. Yeah. So no one expected it to explode in quite the way that it did. You were in it for the first two series, then you were killed off. That's right. Was that disappointing? How did you find out? Did you literally read the script and that was it? And you thought, no, oh, no, no, no. Oh, done. they wouldn't be I'm that done. cruel. They just read it at the read through. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, no, no, no. They, they told me before anyone else, before even my agent, and they said, look, we love you, we love your acting, but somebody's got to go. It's <laughs> the war. We couldn't be the only house unaffected, mm. which is true enough. I mean, it, it would be a bit um, theatrically convenient if nobody died. Yeah. You know, that was the reality. So somebody had to, to go and, uh, and I think in a perverse way, it's often the sort of jolly, lovable, yeah. uh, uh, best friend kind of character that goes. So then the audience go, oh no. Yeah. Um, so uh, I was happy story-wise for that to happen because I think uh, dramatically it was quite satisfying. Was it one of those satisfying. hand on the head as you went? It was well, not quite, although <laughs> it was a bit um, uh, everything at once. Mm. I, was, uh, I was married on my deathbed just before I died. So the, wow. And they had this huge four-poster bed with um, sort of bedecked with uh, bays and rosemary. It was like Ophelia's Bower, you know. <laughs> and uh, it really, it was like something out of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Mm. And uh, I got married in that bed, then died straight away in the bed. Now, we're going to tuck into these as well, so oh, feel lovely. free to help yourself. Oh, they're, um, not, they're not props, they're not solid. No, I can and have as many of these <laughs> yeah, as I want. exactly, no, you help yourself. In. And now the stage acting you've done before, that's, that's really where your heart lies. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I think, I mean, I like them both. I, telly has its own um, tests and, uh, as you know, and things you have to learn, find your mark and find your light and all that, thing, um, that sort of thing. But um, I suppose really mainly people do telly for the money and the exposure because everybody watches yeah. the telly and whereas theatre is often too expensive uh, for a lot of people because uh, the prices are uh, through the roof. But I think for a lot, most actors, I would imagine stage is the original Is that because it's love. live? And is because it, it's live, yeah, yeah and because um, you get the response immediately, you know, and uh, obviously if it's a comedy, you get the, the laughs straight away, so you know how they're feeling about it. But even in a, a tragedy or something that doesn't have laughs, just having them there as part of the whole uh, sort of social, mutual, communal experience yeah. uh, just adds something extraordinary. You know, there's a mm. buzz, there's a vibe just for having them 
as part of it, mm. you know, that uh, is just wonderful. You're coming back to Norfolk again? I am. To do Panto this, Which this year I've done at before. Gorston? About a, nearly a decade ago yeah. now. And you're playing one of the Ugly Sisters, is that right? I know, it's hard to believe, natural? isn't it? Uh, thanks for that. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> well, it does now. I've been there and watched the Panthers there. They are fantastic. They are, they're really good. The really great set as well, beautiful old theatre. I love the pavilion. Yeah. I mean, there's not even a train station in, no. in Galston, you mm. know, but the, the theatre is gorgeous, huge. It's got the big domes on top and a great cavernous uh, auditorium. And the foyer is so stagey. It uh, reminds me of... Um, Shuttleworth's the actors bar and underneath the Phoenix Theatre in, in the West End is uh, a proper actors bar you know posters all over the walls mm. and uh, uh, so it's like a home from home really so I'm looking forward to uh, being back there. Yeah. Well, great well break a leg that's what they say Thank you very I much. Think, in, in the theatre world and uh, enjoy the rest of your tea and I perhaps will we'll have do. a little read of the tea leaves at the end. Oh it's yes. Proper, isn't it? Thank you for joining me. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Help yourself to the cakes. I will do thanks. I know you're dying to. Can I actually now? Yeah, no, <laughs> ED Rider, sponsored by ABC Taxis, achieving best customer service.